Hi guys, Justin here from Osrin Australia. Today we'll be coating some raised wheels with the Osrin O2 metal coating and wheel coating. Okay, so here are the raised wheels that we are coating. So they've got a brushed alloy um, dish. We'll be doing the wheel barrels and the wheel face. So with the coating that we use, it is a high temperature resistant coating, anti-corrosion. So it'll prevent tar and road grime from actually damaging this polished alloy surface and prevent it from embedding into these lettering bits here on the wheel and staining the actual paintwork. Okay, so guys, so now we're about to start the coating process. Now it is important that you clean the wheel thoroughly first and then wipe it down with a um, pre-cleaner solution. So what we're using is the Osrin Quick Inspector, diluted one to one. Now these are new wheels, so they are still fairly clean, but we want to ensure that there is no residue, no fingerprints, no waxes or any oils that can hinder the bonding process of the coating. Now he will be coating the inner barrels of this particular wheel. So it is important to give those a good wipe down and pre-clean prior to coating also. Okay, so now that the wheels are pre-cleaned with the quick inspector that is diluted one to one, we will be coating the wheel with the applicator that comes in the kit and the Osra and Coats O2 metal coating. So with this particular coating, you do have three minutes before you need to wipe it off. When it is a bit cooler like it is today, you can actually leave it a little bit longer, so a couple of minutes longer. So as you can see, here we'll actually complete the whole wheel face, starting with the, the outer dish and then working the, the inner ridges and the spokes. And just ensuring that he covers section by section so he doesn't have any missed spots. Now Osrin Coats O2 metal coating, it's a coating that solidifies over the metal surfaces and the painted surfaces. It's perfect for all your alloy trims and alloy wheels. 
due to its um, strong anti-corrosive um, performance that it offers. Now this is usually why you need a specific coating for wheels is for heat resistance against um, the high temperature from your brakes, brake dust, tar, road grime, and then the corrosion that you can get on those chrome parts that a standard ceramic coating just simply doesn't have the chemical resistance. So now I wait for the wheel face to flash off, he'll have enough time to actually complete the inner barrel and the inside of the spokes. Now on this particular wheel, it is a combination of surfaces. So it's a brushed alloy dish, a painted center, which is still of the alloy wheel, and then an anodized finish on the inside of the barrel. Now this coating will bond to all those types of surfaces, providing that the wheel itself is alloy, as it will penetrate the paint and the pores. Once fully cured, this will allow the coating to fill in those porous, the porous structure of the anodized barrel, leaving it extremely hydrophobic and repellent to contamination embedding into the surface. Okay, so it's been about three minutes now for the outer barrel and wheel face. So what you will need is two new microfiber cloths to level down the coating and remove the carrier fluid as the active ingredient is already bonded. So same as the application method, you wanna wipe down section by section ensuring that you're leveling it down and removing all the residue. And then what you'll do just to ensure that you've covered every spot is run over it again with a second brand new cloth to ensure a perfectly clear finish. So now that the wheel face is done, you want to be doing the wheel barrel. Now this is a bit more easier, but you still got to make sure that you overlap your, your wipes and wipe over it with a secondary cloth. So concentrating on those back of those spokes, all the ridges. ensuring that there is no residue left as this can become a high spot and can be very difficult to remove especially on a matte or anodized finish down the track. So now that the coating has all been leveled down he is just going over it with 
his secondary cloth just to ensure that there is no residue. So after the wheelbarrow is wiped down, you want to visually check and ensure that all these bits are wiped off and no coating or residue is pushed over onto the front surface which has been already wiped down. So you just want to ensure that you check both sides. Alright, so that's a set of brand new raised wheels coated in Osrin coats, metal coating. Now the key features of this coating is it's going to give it a bright metallic enhancement, intense hydrophobicity, it's anti-corrosion and it's a 9H hardness. So if you're looking to coat your wheels or alloy trims or metal trims around the windows, Osrin metal coating is the way to go.